Greetings, I'm Volk, and this is In the Hearts of the Woods. A side quest or a contract quest in the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt original game. This is my original first save and very first playthrough. Now obviously I finished the game and my Geralt is over equipped, over leveled and over everything. But I'm walking around and finishing other quests that I haven't done. I did this quest already, but I reloaded the previous save because I wanted to show it to you and experience a different outcome. I did the so-called traditional way of defeating the boss, and I'll tell you how to do it and why is it not the good idea. Now we're going to do the other version. Talk to Sven about the contract on the Woodland Spirit. I don't remember exactly how I uh, started this quest, but uh, any kind of a guide you would look up on the internet will tell you that this one is activated as soon as you enter the small village on the Skellig Islands. It's called... Uh, as far as I can read it, Fairland. And these nice bunch of people are going to talk to us. The woodland spirit seeks revenge. This here is him saying we've strayed from the old paths. Offended him? The monster's killed five already. He doesn't give a rat's arse about paths or tracks or me or you. He's a plowing beast from the plowing forest. Split his ribcage. A strong one, this spirit of yours. That's so. And who might you be? Geralt. I'm a witcher. A killer for hire. What do you seek here? Saw your notice. What notice? This village is home to decent folk only. You won't find any work here. Sure about that? Beast that did this? It's aggressive and incredibly strong. I can help you for a price. I like this man. Play your trade, Witcher. I believe we will agree terms. Who or what is this woodland spirit? Tell you what it's not. Any of your concern. It's a common beast. Murders any man who ventures into its territory. Exhaustive as descriptions go. What does this spirit look like? Anyone seen it for themselves? No man alive has. Great. Really helpful, all of you. Birds pecked apart his entrails. And here, tooth marks. A large dog, a wolf maybe. This the way it always kills? Only cowards. True warriors. Men with the hearts of predators. The spirit grants them an honorable death. You said the creature wants revenge. Why? For what? Our forefathers hunted with spear and knife. This pleased the woodland spirit. He let us live in peace. We never knew hunger. He killed back then too. He's always killed. How many lads died trying to become hunters? Now, since our hunters died in the war, the beasts turned even more bloodthirsty. We are uncreate. What others buy with gold, we buy with our lifeblood. We are slaves to fear spread by blind fools like you. These woods are ours. High time we put an end to this beast. I've heard enough. You've got a monster problem, that's clear. Just not sure you want it solved. Oh, we do. Come see me. We'll figure us a fair price for the beast's head. Our little talk while I looked over the corpse? Not nearly enough. Need to look around, figure out what I'm up against. Be not rash, killer. It's not too late to bring back the old ways. I'll decide what to do. But start collecting coin, just in case. This is the normal beginning of the quest. Examine the trucks in the woods using your witcher senses and find out what's killing the villagers of Fireland. Let's go into the woods. Sven! The guy who originally started the quest is a little bit crazy, huh? What do you think? Got a trail to follow. Wonder where it leads. Right over there. Smashed bones. That takes strength. 
No point in trying to parry its blows. Yeah, I know I forgot one of the yellow circles. I'll go back and find the other. But I won't tell you what it is until we find it. Or we keep the secret. Where the hell was it though? I'm <laughs> not very sure now. Oh, there you are. Thin and deep cuts. Got them like a razor. Gotta fight a couple of wolves here now. Remember, because I'm very, very high level 39 at the end of the game, at the end of the expansion as well. The first one, these guys barely scratch me, they can't even actually scratch me, and they take no more than two hits to die. There we go. Now we gotta examine the scratches, sharpened its claws. Or just marked off its territory. Aleshin. Male. Very old. Damn it. Probably marked one of the villagers. It is a lesson that much we know. Learn more about the woodland spirit by reading the bestiary. I think it was right here, relics. Scroll down to the woodland spirit. Very damn nice picture. Now, it's vulnerable just like any other relic to uh, dimeritium bomb, relic oil, and Igni. Igni is the fire one. None of these are actually required for my playthrough because I'm very high level, but this boss is tough. And if you are playing this on level, I believe the quest is level 20 or 22, you definitely need to prepare well. Let's see about the text. Some monsters are so powerful, local populaces begin worshipping them as gods. So it was the case with the Lashen dwelling in the woods near the Skellige village of Fireland. The elders were Absolutely convinced the monster watched over them by defeating, by defending them from their enemies and training their hunters. The witchers had his doubts, however. Lashins are mean, self-serving creatures, and the ancient one living in the woods near Fireland was surely no exception. Geralt knew freeing the villagers from their supposed protector's grasp would be no easy task, if he decided to even try. The lesson known as the Woodland Spirit was so powerful as to have mastered the art of marking. This meant the monster had inserted his essence into one of the residents of Fireland. As long as this unfortunate soul remained alive and near the settlement, the lesson would always be reborn near its lair. Yet even with the marked one eliminated, killing the lesson would be no easy task. The monster commanded the obedience of the dead denizens of the woods. It could thus call on wolves, ravens, or even the trees themselves for help. Luckily, it had a weakness as well. It was vulnerable to fire, that born of the Igni sign in particular. This is the bestiary. Now we have an option to talk to the elder guy who's protecting the Lashon, or the spirit, and to Sven, the crazy one who wants to kill it. Come on, Roach, I know you're here somewhere. Run, Roach. If the game seems choppy on your screens, it's because I'm using everything on absolute maximum, on very high resolution. And on top of that, there is a lot of um, things to see on the screen. We are in a rich forest, after all. First, we're going to talk to Harald. Didn't have many friends, did he? Folk aren't willing to look at this kind of death today. But in the past, I remember. I was just a lad. Lugos Herlip led a raid on our village. Found nothing but silence and fog. I could barely make out my pa and my uncles lying in wait behind the trees. I remember how they hunted down one warrior after another. And once they surrounded Harelip himself, well, I believe he'd rather have faced the woodland spirit. Your spirit is a very old lesson. He's dangerous, but I should be able to deal with him. Rid us of him? 
Yet he's what made us invincible. Turned us into great warriors. Back by the tree, you said you know another way to stop the Leshen. We must return to the old path. Restore the old ways. Roam the woods with knife and spear. Fight on even terms and prove our valor. That would please him. Our ancestors placed the Covenant Stone in the woods, laid sacrifices of prized game on it, and thus made a pact. Do as they did. Go south along the brook. Submit to the trial by burning a sacrifice of wolves' hearts on the sacred spot. Fine. I'll try it your way. But if it fails, I'll have to kill the beast. Wise choice. The spirit will subject you to trial, but you cannot succumb. Succeed in renewing the covenant, and I'll spare no gold in rewarding you. And again, we have two options. Approach the altar is the one that would follow up the conversation with Haral. Talk to Sven about the lesson is the other one that I approached and finished on my first playthrough. I'm not going to do that right now, but at the end of the quest, I will tell you the differences. Come on, Roach. Are you falling asleep again? Damn lazy horse. Collect wolf hearts, five of them. Harold mentioned there would be a trial of some sort. Maybe that's it? We've got exactly five wolves and exactly five hearts to collect. You would see that even though there is a huge difference of the levels, when not being too careful, I'm losing HP. That's most likely because the game is on its highest difficulty. That March. Place the offerings on the altar. Well, I must admit to you guys, I haven't done that until now, that option of uh, this version of the quest. And I'm a little disappointed yeah. we didn't even get to see the lesson because it's an impressive look. The short cinematic when you choose the other version of the quest in the heart of the woods gives you a chance to first see the lesson from the bottom to the top, very close up, and then fight it. On level, that fight is going to be a very decent challenge, I assume. Lessons are by default easy to defeat, especially if you're um, if you're mastering the Igni sign and if you're specializing in the blue tree. So they call it the blue tree. Collect your ward from Harold. The Lesson accepted my offering, 
I saw the smoke rise and crows dance in the sky. Everything will return to the old ways. You'll see in a few days. I've done my part. Expecting coin, eh? Don't fret. I've got your gold. Take it. You've earned every last bit. You do know young boys will continue to die at the Covenant Stone trying to become hunters. The killing will never end. I've not paid you to lecture me. You've done your job. It's time you left. Well, well, Harold. Pain the Witcher behind our backs to sod off and let the monster live! We finished off the other elders. Just one left. <laughs> Death's but another stage in the cycle. I embrace it. Be gone, Witcher, and you can keep your coin. I can't let you kill him. Think murder will change something? You've done your part. Got your coin. What are you waiting for? No monsters left around here. I won't let you kill him. The Witcher first. Get him. Kill him the ice, Shad. The quest is finished. The true murderers in the village are teared off, and uh, this is where the quest ends. Now let me tell you the other option. You can speak to both of them, the Elder Harald and Sven. If you accept Sven's offers, you are to take three totems in the woods, which are just a pile of uh, wooden things. You, you know what a totem is. You just um, use Ard... Uh, sorry. Hard, or just slash with the sword and you would destroy them you might have a couple of wolves around to kill and then is the fight with the Lashon, the boss itself he does have a few wolves as pets but i don't remember him spawning any ox extra pets or maybe i just killed him too quick it is a boss so he doesn't have a level but yeah it's a level 22 quest so the boss is not really a challenge for a level 39 Geralt. If you do that option, you are to go back to Sven and pick the reward. Of course, meanwhile, before you go to venture and uh, kill the Lashen, during the dialogue with Sven, you have an option to decide whether you want to kill the person or in other ways um, get rid of the person who is carrying the essence of the Lashen, you know, the marked target. It turns out that this is a young girl who actually um, is kind of a, a, a deer to, to Sven. In the end, it always finishes in a very similar way. In this case, Harold survives. In the other case, he's not uh, alive. And uh, Sven is the new ruler of the village. Well, that's a rough explanation. I definitely urge you to play through the quest because it's a fun one. And if you can do it, don't repeat my mistake and do it on level. Thank you for watching and hopefully enjoying the video. Don't forget to throw in a like, leave me a comment and let me know what you did with the quest differently. Why? What was your experience? And don't forget to visit my website for more Witcher lore videos, stories, guides, tutorials and everything else. Bye bye.